Uh, good morning. So I'm going to talk about uh, evaluating novel shock and kill strategies in the non-human primate model of HIV infection. And uh, as you know, one favorite approach to cure HIV, um, referred to as shock and kill or kick and kill, aims at uh, inducing HIV expression from latently infected memory CD4 T cells to um, using latency reversing agents or LRA to um, trigger cell death through virus-induced cytolysis or immune-mediated clearance. And several uh, LRAs are able in vitro to increase viral gene expression, but so far in vivo it shows some level of toxicity and it also shows limited uh, effects in um, preclinical animal model or in um, clinical trials. So, <clears throat> In uh, the search of a novel latency reversing agents with a minimal of target effect, uh, this search has raised uh, interest in targeting specifically the non canonical NF kappa B pathway. And beside receptor uh, ligation, this pathway uh, can be activated by the second mitochondrial activator of caspases or SMAX that induces the degradation of the IAP leading to the degradation of uh, P100 and the release of the active uh, subunit P52. So SMAC is an intermediate of the apoptosis uh, cascade, and um, some peptide um, SMAC mimetics have been uh, developed initially to um, induce the apoptosis in tumor cells. So because the SMAC mimetics are also able to activate the non-canonical NF-kappa-B pathway, they could potentially be used to uh, induce latency reversal on uh, HIV infection. So previous work has identified the SMAC mimetic AZD55 and A2 that ensured that ex vivo treatment with AZD55 A2 of art suppressed CD4, um, resting CD4 T cells induce uh, latency reversal and HIV expression as shown by this QBOA experiment here on the left, while inducing fewer gene expression than other LRAs such as the ingenual B here. So we uh, thus hypothesized that this MAC magnetic ATD 55A2 could also reverse latency in vivo and we designed an in vivo study in art suppressed HIV infected resistant macaques. <laughs> 21 monkeys were infected IV with 3000 TCID50 of the NEFOPEN um, SIV MAC239. And after eight weeks of treatment, we initiated a potent art regimen that included, included TDF, FTC, and DTG. And after 55 to 67 weeks on art, 12 of the monkeys received weekly uh, infusion of EZD55A2. Three of them received three doses of EZD55A2, and nine of them received 10 doses of the SMAC mimetic. And we also included a group of nine control resistant macaques. So here are shown the plasma viral dose before the LRE intervention. And uh, at this time, the monkeys were treated the same way, but uh, we represented here in um, red and on the left the monkeys that will go on to receive the azd 55 2 treatment, and on the right and in blue, the control animal. And as you can see, all of those animals uh, reach undetectable level of um, plasma viral load in 2 to 24 weeks. So as expected, our control animals maintain undetectable plasma viral loads throughout the uh, study. But in contrast, you can see here that five animals treated with azd 55 a 2 experience on art sustained viremia. Uh, so those five monkeys represent 42% of all of the monkeys that were treated with azd 55 a 2 and 55% of those who received 10 doses of the SMAC mimetic. So to give you a more uh, detailed look at the patterns of virus reactivation, here are shown the individual plasma viral load for each of those monkeys that experienced on art varimia about 60 copy per milliliter of uh, plasma. And I just wanted to show here that uh, those monkeys experienced on art varimia as early as 
96 hours after dose one, and this viremia picked as high as 1,390 copy of HIV RNA per milliliter of plasma. And in this last monkey represented at the bottom, the uh, viremia was experienced up to 37 days after completion of the dosing. So furthermore, using an ultra-sensitive assay uh, with a limit of detection of three copies of HIV RNA per milliliter of a plasma, we showed that an additional uh, four monkeys also um, experienced an increase in plasma viral load during the treatment with adg 55 as compared to uh, a baseline that uh, was defined as the median plasma viral load during a four-week period right before we initiated the adg 55 a 2 treatment. So overall, um, nine of the 12 with this treated with adg 55 a 2 uh, experienced some level of uh, latency reversal. So to further uh, characterize latency reversal induced by adg 55 a 2 we also perform a longitudinal analysis of plasma uh, virus by single genome analysis of the envelope gene of HIV MAC239 in all of those monkeys who experienced unheard viremia induced by adg 55 2 So sequencing analysis were performed at four uh, selected time points. Uh, it's going to be difficult to see, I believe, but uh, the first time point was uh, peak, at the peak viremia, so around two weeks post-infection, and, uh, and that represented in red. Then we also look at uh, week eight, so right before initiating the antiretroviral treatment, and then two time points during the uh, adg 55 2 treatment period that are represented in uh, green and in blue. And so the, the phylogenetic analysis showed different pattern of uh, virus reactivation, and um, as represented on the left, two resist macaques um, showed sequences uh, during this unheard viremia that were closer to um, three hours at week eight than at uh, week two. And also, I hope you can see, but the sequences were mostly unique, uh, suggesting um, an origin from multiple uh, cells that were infected um, before uh, art initiation. And other monkey, um, in contrast, showed um, uh, expanded clone of uh, sequences, uh, as you can see with those cluster here. And so those clones clustered both with the peak and the pre uh, time point. So altogether, this uh, analysis showed that azd 55 2 induced virus reactivation from a diverse population of cells, uh, some of which were likely clonally expanded. So besides this uh, viremia experienced by the monkey during the azd 55 a 2 treatment, we also show here that the monkey that received 10 doses of azd 55 a 2 showed a uh, statistically significant increase in SIV uh, RNA as compared to uh, the control in the lymph node resting CD40 cells. And uh, this um, azd 55 a 2 SMAC mimetic was also evaluated in art suppressed BLT humanized mice by the group of Victor Garcia. And you can see that the, uh, we observed similar uh, results with an increase in plasma viremia in three out of six or three out of four uh, mice in two independent experiments, 48 hours after a single dose of the SMAC mimetic azd 55 a 2 and uh, here on the right, you can see also an increase in SIV RNA um, at 48 hours after the single dose of adg 55 2 in uh, multiple tissues. So um, those uh, two studies show that activation of the non-canonical NF-kappa-B signaling pathway via adg 55 a 2 results in induction <coughs> of HIV and SIV <laughs> RNA expression in um, blood and tissue of art suppressed humanized mice and resist macaques. So then we also evaluated this uh, molecule, azd 55 2 in absence of CD8 uh, T cells. And we did that um, because, as we know for um, quite some time, CD8 T cells influence the natural course of HIV SIV infection. Uh, notably, there is a temporal association between the peak. Uh, decline of SIV viremia during 
acute infection and the expansion of HIV-specific CD8 T cells. Also, the CD8 uh, escape mutants appear during both acute and chronic infection, suggesting that there is a selective immune pressure on the virus. And we know that elite controller CD8 T cells have a phenotype that differs from a normal progressor. They are polyfunctional with uh, greater proliferative and killing uh, capacities. And then specific uh, MHC class 1 alleles are associated with control of aremia uh, during uh, infection. And CD8 T cell uh, depletion studies in HIV infected with this macaque show an increase in varemia. But more recently, the group of uh, Guido Silvestri also showed a role of the CD8 T cells on uh, art treated infection. So uh, they showed that uh, the experimental uh, CD8 depletion that an experimental T um, cell depletion induced an art uh, varemia in art suppressed HIV infected with this mechanics. So this result suggests that CD8 T cells are required for the maintenance of HIV varemia uh, suppression during art in vivo. So we hypothesized that CD8 T cells prevent the reversal of latency during shock and kill strategy, and that uh, uh, CD8 T cell depletion would enhance latency reversal induced by AZD5582. So we performed another in vivo study with the same setting, monkeys, this time six monkeys, that were also infected with this uh, nephropan SIV MAC239. And uh, we initiated the antiretroviral treatment at week eight. And, but those monkeys were on art um, a bit longer than the previous group of animals, this time uh, 84 to 85 uh, weeks. And uh, the animal received um, uh, those of uh, depleting CD8 depleting antibody before receiving weekly infusion of the SMAC mimetic AZD5582. And uh, here again are shown the, uh, is shown the plasma viral load of these six monkeys before the intervention with uh, SMAC mimetic and the CD8 depletion. And you can see that suppression of plasma viral load was achieved in two to 16 weeks. And um, here I'm showing the successful CD8 uh, depletion in this monkey with the CD4 T cell uh, frequency and counts in the peripheral blood. And here again, when the animal received AZD5582, they uh, experienced an art varemia. And interestingly, if we compare the group of animals uh, that received SMAC mimetic only and the group of animals that received the SMAC mimetic after the CDA depletion, you can see that the number of animals who experienced on art varemia above 60 copy per milliliter of plasma is uh, higher in the CDA T cell depletion group with 100% of the animals experiencing on art varemia. And if we bring it to a per event, if we look at the number of um, positive plasma viral load out of all the viral load that we measured for each animal, you can see that uh, this uh, level is also higher in the group that received the CD depletion before being treated with the AZD5582 SMAC mimetic. So uh, in conclusion, targeting, in conclusion, in art suppressed SIV infected macaques, AZD5582 treatment induced sustained high level on art varemia and SIV RNA expression in resting CD40 cells from lymph node. And the latency reversal activity of AZD5582 is potentiated by uh, CD8 T cell experimental depletion, thus suggesting a role of uh, the CD8 T cell in maintaining HIV SIV latency on art. So, targeting the non canonical NF kappa B pathway with SMAC mimetic is a novel promising strategy to reverse HIV latency and combining SMAC mimetics with clearance agents could greatly increase uh, opportunity for HIV eradication. And uh, here um, I'm showing an ongoing study where we are combining this uh, SMAC mimetic with um, uh, the clearance agent uh, ECD4 IG. And uh, with that, I'm going to thank everybody in Ansha Reddy's lab, especially Alisa Brook, who did uh, most of the bench work, and um, Guido Silvestri at the Emory Consortium for Innovative AIDS Research in Non-Human Primates, as well as David Margulis, Rick Denham, and Victor uh, Garcia at the UNC HIVQ Center.
Jerry Zach, UCLA. Very nice talk. Could your CD8 data be interpreted as the CD8 cells are killing the, the cells expressing virus rather than uh, keeping latency in check? Um, you would see the same result because you get decreased by Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Uh, I wish it could happen and the cells would be killed uh, uh, after reactivation. I think most of our in vitro data or ex vivo data point to a non cytolytic mechanism, but I did not study it speci especially in this uh, study. How much C4 to uh, expansion do you see after you do C8 depletion, and how can we rule out that the virus that comes back is not because the C4 cells are just expanding as opposed to any anti uh, viral effects of the C8 cells? I see. Uh, as far as I remember, there's not a huge C4 expansion following the C8. I'm trying oh, yeah. to see my data. I'm sorry? Yes, I, I understand that. It's easy for us to come back and expand, but um, in a, not a study that Maude was presenting, but another study that's been published um, in, in infected r animals, the CD4 depletion was performed, and when those cells come back, we see no change. The, the viral load remains suppressed. So we think that that somewhat can address that question, that it's really related to the, the pressure of the CDAs rather than the kind of reconstitution of the CD4. Yeah. Did you look to see uh, if after the CDA depletion you had the larger diversification of the virus? No, we did not uh, yet. But that's something more interesting. And, uh, yes. Uh, we did not at this point. Not in this specific study. We did not find it. So if I understood it correctly, so you, you treated with this magnetic and you see, saw the virus reactivation, right? But the animals were still on AFT. Yes. So the ART was insufficient to suppress that virus well, that is reactivated? Well, I mean, how, how do you get rid of the reservoir then, or do you see a decline in the reservoir over time? No, we did not see a decline in the reservoir, but that was not expected in that study since we have only the shock approach and not the kill part of the shock and kill. And uh, yes, there was virus production on art, but doesn't mean there was a new round of infection with the treatment. There was a projection, and that was the goal of the study. Yeah. 